Hey you guys, what's going on everybody? I hope that everyone's doing well today. It's me Kiafa and we're on another video. All right y'all, so check it out. I wanted to talk to you guys about different jobs that surgical techs can have. A lot of people don't realize this and I wanted to make this for people that may have been to surgical tech school and don't like, you know, being a surgical tech and then it's like, dang, I got all this either dead or I spent all this time learning how to be a surgical tech and I just do not like working in OR. It's just some people that really just don't like it and it's totally understandable because it's kind of stressful and sometimes it just be overwhelming and I can I totally understand when people have their, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? They just don't like it because I was in a position like that at one point in my life. I was just like, I'm over this. You know, I don't care to be around these people. These people were sucking the, in, the like positive energy out of me, and I just can't deal with that. So, here's a few jobs that I'm going to just run off, you know, and let y'all know that you can do this and as an alternative if you don't want to work as a scrub tech. So, the first thing that um, you can do is you can be a materials manager where you order supplies uh, for facilities and you basically make sure that they don't run out of certain things. Now at this facility, we don't have a materials manager because it's not enough volume that we need to keep track of it that much. Like we keep track of our things, but we can keep track of it so we don't have to hire another person to do that. But uh, one of my friends is a material manager and she's also a scrub tech. So what she'll do is like if they need help scrubbing and she'll go scrub but her primary job is to make sure that they have and they have all she's had oh I can't even talk she has ordered all of the supplies she receives them and then she puts them up and makes sure that you know everything is where it goes at and she makes sure that everybody places their order on certain days and you have to do that when you got a lot of volume going and you need somebody to do that so you can be a, a materials manager you can also be a SPD um, tech where you work in a sterile processing and then and sterile processing is two different sides so you can work on the clean side and you can work on the dirty side the clean side is where you wrap your instruments and the dirty side is where you basically um clean it and i, I think it's thundering i don't know and then you can decontaminate so you can work in spd i know a couple people that work in spd i've worked in spd before um, just strictly in SPD where I wasn't scrubbing and it's cool um, because I like to scrub when I was just putting the sets together It just made me want to scrub even more. So I was just like oh, I might as well just scrub if I'm gonna um, be doing this so you can also be a OR coordinator where you're scheduling the Cases and you're making sure that it's enough coverage the nurse or a nurse manager or assistant nurse manager may kind of take on that role too, but they surgical techs can do this or can be a coordinator surgical techs can also be a instrument rep or a yeah basically an instrument rep so like with like arthrex i don't know if y'all can see that but arthrex is a company and we use some of their um supplies they have a rep that comes over and when we end the case the rep basically lets us know how to use their product and I love a good rep, y'all. Let me tell you. For one, a good rep gonna bring you breakfast or lunch. I always like that. And then for two, if they really know what the hell is going on, then you can kind of ask them or they should be able to tell you how to use their product and what to like what steps. They're going to be able to tell you, okay, this is first, this is first, or this is next, this is, you know, and so on and so forth. So if you're a surgical tech and you decide that you don't want to be a, you know, a scrub tech, and you want to do something where you just kind of show people how to use products surgical techs typically do very well as reps because they're already comfortable in the OR they already understand you know sterile technique and things like that you can also be a um, like a medical writer and what that means is basically you because your medical terminology knowledge is so vast I think is the word you have so much medical terminology information in your head just from doing the cases that if you are good at writing you can just write articles or you can help um, proofread articles so I've had people on like Upwork ask me to help them write an article I don't mind writing but 
it's it's not so much that I don't want to, but I normally want to write about what I want to write about when I feel like it. So that didn't work for me because it was like on demand, like you need to write about this. And I might not want to write about psoriasis. You know, even if you do have the knowledge or I might not want to write about a hernia repair or something like that. So it's something that you can do and I think it's pretty cool to um, do it as well. What else can a surgical tech do? Oh, um... Oh God, it's, I want to say, off, not office manager, but it's because you would still kind of be an OR tech, but you would be in an office, like a private office, and what you would do is like small procedures and things like that, and then you could also, as a surgical tech, what else you could do? Oh, you could sell, so, so selling supplies, like let's just say um, I wanted to how to put it sell supplies but I didn't want to be a rep so you can basically review medical instruments and supplies online and create websites based around that and just sell medical supplies but because you know about what you're talking about people will um listen and they'll take you as a expert in that field because you have the, the knowledge like you've worked in that field hang on y'all Okay, my bad. I thought I had somebody calling me, but I'm hearing things. So, also, you can be an instructor. I know a lot of people love to teach. And it's nothing wrong with teaching. Like, I actually like to teach. I don't know how I would feel about being an instructor, like, full-time. That's just not, like... I like to be in the OR, so, you know, it's that. Like, I would rather be scrubbed in than necessarily be teaching. But, you can. Um... I also seen like some customer service jobs for medical professionals that were you were just basically you're not a nurse and you're not giving medical advice but it, it might be for like an insurance company or someone like that that wants someone that has medical a medical background but you don't necessarily have to be like a nurse or a physician or a, or a PA or anything like that okay so those are really I'm trying to think of what else because I had wrote it down but I left the list at home but you can do more I'm just trying to make sure let me think hold on y'all okay so I remember one that I had put on my list at home and I don't know I might add to it when I get there but I doubt it because I've named off most of them but this last one somebody is calling me hold on okay so this last one is where you you can basically become a um if you wanted like to do your own business because we clean the or you can actually just like open your own janitorial service and let people know that you have experience cleaning oh, my jacket inside out no one i can't use my pockets um let people know that you have experience cleaning facilities like ors and doctor's offices and things like that because you get paid to have that you know experience as well some people that are um, cleaners like janitors and what's the word environmental services what they are used to maybe something like a small office or a business office or something like that might not necessarily be they might not used to be like in an environment where they might see blood and things like that but because you are an OR tech and you've already been taught how to clean you know with hospital grade disinfectant and from top to bottom and make sure you're looking at the details and things like that like you will be good at that also there's this man that i well that i met he sharpens our instruments he used to be a surgical tech as well and all he has is a little machine and he sharpens the knives or not the knives but the scissors and basically anything that we would use that would need to be sharpened he sharpens it with his little little machine or whatever but that there's it's a few different jobs outside of being an OR tech that you can do as an OR tech and I might if I come up with some more I'll make another video about it but this is basically it like it's pretty cool I feel like because it does like being a surgical tech and like I said if you don't like it it still gives you you know room to do other things you can travel as a surgical tech too we already know that and you can travel inside the states you can travel outside the states as a surgical tech and that's kind of cool like i had this lady call me and she wanted to know if i was looking for a job or if i knew anybody that was looking for a job 
um, contracting, but it was to go to Afghanistan. And had I did, if I wouldn't have had a, my, my son, I probably would have went. Like I wasn't tripping off of going to Afghanistan, but I didn't want to leave my baby, so I was just like, you know. I'm not going, but and I just gave her a couple people phone numbers for her to call, and I was like, you can talk to them and see if they are open to something like that, you know. But yeah, you guys. So that's really all I have for you. Um, yeah, if y'all looking for a job, I do know a couple of recruiters. I work with like. I've worked with so many like traveling recruiters and things like that over the years. I was gonna go traveling earlier this year, so I really have like three or four recruiters that I can call right now at different companies and hop on a contract like immediately. It's one person that I really probably would end up going with because I just like her vibes and stuff like that. But if you are an OR tech and you're looking for a job, just leave a uh, leave a comment in the comment box below. And I'll, um, or you can inbox me and I can just, you know, help y'all link up. But I would definitely um, go traveling because you make a pretty good amount of money traveling. And yeah, you guys, that's really all I got for you. So I'll see y'all on the next video. I love you if nobody told you that today. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.